I want to show you how you can end uh, manual REST API client coding today. So right now it looks like this. You have to call APIs manually. You have to know where it resides. You have to know the, about the request and the response. You have to know all the parameters and you have to type them in. So we have 2015 and I think this should be changed. And this is how it looks like if you are calling using a generated SDK. So you are able to instantiate a request. You are able to use enumerations. You are able to use getters and setters for nested properties as well. And you are able to instantiate the API and call an operation as if it would be a local JavaScript function call. So I have no idea that this is a REST API call and you just use it. And this is possible today. What you need for this? You need uh, to provide a Swagger API docs. They need to be supplied by the API provider. They can be provided automatically using Spring Boot and Swagger Spring Fox. And if you want to know more, please go to swagger.io tools and integration. And you can also do API first uh, using the Swagger editor. And you have to use Swagger CodeGen, which allows you to generate client code in more than 20 languages. JavaScript support has been requested two years ago, and I added it uh, in the last few days. And I'm glad it is available right now, uh, this morning. So you can pick it from the master branch. Thank you. This is a sample REST model using Spring Boot and Spring Fox. So there's nothing special about it. You have the properties, data types, a description, required indications, and uh, yeah, that's just it. And on the server side, this is how it looks in the Swagger language agnostic format. You see the properties, the data types, the description, and references to other models or classes. So what do you need to take? The, the steps are first check out the Swagger Cogen, generate the client stops, and you're done. You can enjoy code completion for REST APIs in JavaScript and in HTML. So these are the mustage templates for Swagger Cogen. They are simple text files, so you can easily customize them according to your requirements, if you like. This is how you generate client code using Swagger Cogen. It's just a Java program you have to invoke. And this is what you get. This is the generated JavaScript model. You have the properties, the data types, description, required indication, and get the setter support on the model class. And this is what you get. You get code completion for the model class, including the JS uh, JavaScript doc support with the data type indicators. You get code completion in HTML. You get code completion for all API operations of the, Re the REST API provides, including the parameters, the data types, and the description, if provided. So what is the current state of JavaScript support of Swagger CodeGen? Right now, the API is supported, the model is supported, you have JavaScript doc comment support and type hints, you have enumeration support, get the setter support, constructor for required properties, you are able to dump it out to the console, and you can use plain JavaScript or you can use AMD. It's not yet perfect. The, uh, probably I will add uh, support for TypeScript, or if you have other ideas, please let me know. It's up to you. If you want to call like jQuery style, or if you want to use Swagger, and I think probably will, uh, the chances are you forget how to call, um, how to make an API call using Ajax. So thank you for your attention. Swagger CodeGen, you can simply pick the master branch and you have JavaScript support there. It will be scheduled in the release next release cycle. If you want to see a full demo for Spring Boot, you can see my talk at DevOx this year on YouTube. And if you have questions, this is my Twitter handle. Thank you. <laughs>